in any heavyweight uh, fight, anything can happen. There's always an X factor. You know, they're two big heavy guys. Um, the one crack with a full ounce glove on the chin, and you know, the game changes. I think personally, we I believe Ruan has a great asset is his composure. A lot of guys uh, are great in training, but uh, lights, camera, action, and they like a deer in the headlights. And I think Ruan has that. Uh, talent or ability that he can really compose himself under pressure and uh, not many guys uh, have that. A lot of guys fall by the wayside because they, you know, they don't have that BMT. I think Ruan is, is lucky to have that. Ruan trains with me what is it, for four days a week. You know, I come from uh, more of a wrestling grappling base. And I think, you know, obviously Ruan comes from more of a judo type of base. So I think he's benefited in terms of, of, of the wrestling style. The way we do things is maybe slightly different to the way the jiu-jitsu does. Uh, so it's giving him a slightly different feel, a different look. You know, obviously I think uh, Andrew is the number, number two seed and then you know, he's proved himself. And yeah, he deserves another shot. Andrew's a credible guy. He's been in the game a long time. So, you know, you've got to always have respect for people like that. I don't believe Andrew has a better game in any aspect of the fight. I don't think there's any aspect of the game where Andrew's better than Ron. Ruan will retain the title. No matter where the fight goes, I believe that Ruan has an upper hand. You know, he's a genuine heavyweight, a strong athletic guy, and I think he's got all the potential to, to achieve whatever he wants to do in the sport. Every fight that, that Ruan has is, is a title fight because he's the title holder. So everyone is as important as the last. So it's a, being a title fight, it's, it's vitally important that everyone wins and retains their title.